Hello guys, DK Wolf here again and we are here with the second tutorial and this tutorial is about making tasks in your mission and making sure that uh, they are shown on your map or in your screen. So first of all you need to reopen your mission and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So once again you just start a server like you always do. Um, name it whatever you want. Eh? Tri -la 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 -la. Let's name this tutorial as always and just get a move on. Uh, so we are here you have to select the island you made your mission on so if I press Altis I'm not gonna find the mission I made because I made it on Stratus so I need to select Stratus then go to my mission 1 tutorial because that's how I named it and you click on edits and here we go we still have our uh, three riflemen and a team leader still in position and we're gonna s uh, or I'm gonna show you how to um, how to make a task so you go to modules which is F7 modules you place one down you go to Intel create task name the task uh, well for logic purposes I'm gonna name this task 1 and the title I'm gonna name move and the description will be like um, oops I didn't mean to do that uh, move to this position no <laughs> whoops I meant the description move to the let's say designated position there we go no marker needed, everything is just as normal. Then we are gonna do state assigned destination. Um, well, you can disable it because then it doesn't show on your um, on your map the mission itself. Um, but I'm gonna show you why. So you click on assigned, and my damn Skype is doing ridiculously annoying. So we press OK. Then we're gonna place a second one, which which is set this. Oh man, my English today. Ah. Oh. So you're gonna make a new module, which is named Set Task State, and we're gonna say that when the mission is completed, it will be shown as succeeded. So we click on that and then press OK. Then we're gonna place a third module, which is gonna be Task Destination, and just press OK. Now you can see that these modules are connected with some light blue line. Well, make sure they are not connected. So you press on F2, which is groups. You click with your left mouse button, hold it, and then drag anywhere you want and just let go. Bam. And you do the same for the others. Let go. So that's that. So I'm going to say that my team has to move to this position so I'm gonna set the set that destination to there um, now the position of your create task and task state doesn't really matter because they're not shown on your map or anything like that um, but you have to make sure that they are synchronized so you press F5 synchronize and then you just connect your create task to your set task state and also connect it to the destination of the task. There, done. That's one of them. Now, next thing you want to do is you have to make sure that your team is being uh, detected when you're in the area for your mission. So you want to do a trigger, uh, F3, double click, and then let's say 10 meters and 10 meters. Condition doesn't matter, but the activation is really important because because you want your team to be detected. You have to select what your team is, and in this case, our team is Blue Force. So we're gonna select Blue Force. No name or text needed. All the same. Just let it like it is, and press OK. Now, the next thing you want to do is make sure that your trigger is gonna <clears throat> gonna make sure that your task is completed. So you need to synchronize this trigger with your task state because your task state is succeeded. 
So the point is that it detects your team and then and then like gives information to the task state that the mission is completed. And the task state is connected to the create task so that it knows that the, that this trigger is for this mission. But you gotta move it above the destination just like that. Now, next thing you want to do is make sure that the destination is shown on your map. And just by doing this isn't enough. So you need to place a marker. We're going to place a marker which is empty. Make sure that it is empty. It's really, really important. It has to be empty. And name it whatever you want. So I'm going to name it 1. You know, for symbol 1. Marker 1. Then the next thing you want to do is... <coughs> <clears throat> go to your create task um, hang on you know the best thing you want to do is name it something else like objective one because you're gonna need the name to put in some kind of um, text so you can click on it and your mission so it automatically goes to the place where the mission is located so we have to make sure that that your marker is right below the trigger or destination of your mission and then the next thing you want to do is go to the create task and change your description so it says move to the designated position but you don't know what position that what position that is so you have to make sure that it is that it is um, located on your map and to do that now you have to pay attention to this because it's not that easy so first thing you want to do, if I can find it somewhere on my desk, I wrote it down. Um, it's, 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 it's some kind of scripting code. So it's really important, but once you know the scripting code, uh, you don't have to think too much anymore about the location, because, you know, you remember it. Uh, but I, I think it was like, um, let's see, like that. And then say marker name equals obg1, which is the name of the marker we just made. Then close it again. Um, like that. <clears throat> and like that. So you have to make sure that between the two symbols the name of your destination is. In this case it is position, but like for example you have a city or a compound and the city is named Kavala uh, for instance, you have to make sure that Kavala is located between those two pointy symbols. I don't have, I don't know the name of them, but that doesn't matter. So you have to make sure that the name is between those. Then, to make sure that it works, you write down that and then say marker and close it up again so that's how you that's how you point to the right position and then you press destination still disabled i think I'm not sure we're going to we're going to make sure that it works so we press okay now next thing you want to do is make sure that the task is assigned to your units so you do that again by synchronizing your create task to your player. All the players. And you have to do that for every mission. So that's about it. So next thing you want to do is save it. And then preview. Choose your man. I'm going to be the team leader. There we go. And now in the overview, in the briefing, you can click on tasks and it says move. Move to the designated position. Now you see that it is gray and highlighted. So if you click on it, it automatic automatically goes to the position and shows it on your map just by clicking on it. And that's, when you, that's what you want to do in your missions to make it more attractive to other people to play it. So we're going to go to continue and see if it works. As you can see, there is a marker on your on your screen now. It says 200 meters. So we have to walk all the way to there. 
to make sure that the mission is completed. <coughs> because our task is to move to that location, so that's what we are doing right now. My team is following me like like we are a bows. Yeah man. <coughs> and there we go. Task completed, move. And that's about it. That's how you create a mission. You can name the mission whatever you want, you can choose a location, you can do anything you want. Now there are different kind of missions you want to do like for example saving some hostages or killing a, a target or anything like that and I'm gonna cover that in the next episode so you're gonna see that um, like for example the, the mission is eliminate an officer and you kill it that the mission is completed. That's a little bit complicated than this uh, a little bit more complicated. So that's about it and excuse me for my English, my English is not the best, so just so you know, especially when you're giving instructions on how to do anything, it's, it's really hard. <laughs> so that's about it guys, uh, I hope you learned something about this, if you're not sure or anything like that just just tell me in the comments or send me a message and I will gladly respond to that. Okay, so guys, I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.